What's Gucci y'all, my name is Randekt, and I would consider myself to be an average skill player. In my previous video, I mentioned that I need to play with a purpose in order to improve, where I even gave an example on trying to learn Dweifel cones. Or if I wanted to learn a specific building technique, such as a Dweifel cone, I would actually go watch this video, how to do Dweifel cones, then I go into creative and try to figure out what's the best way for me to learn how to do it, learn how to do it, and then I would go into actual in-game fights. So in this video, I'll be doing exactly what I just said, and you can check out the description for timestamps if you want to skip through the video. But out of everything I could have focused on to improve, why would I want to focus on Dweifel cones first? I realize currently my building skills have generally been the same since around season 5 or 6, and I haven't sat down to actually learn a new technique in a long while. I've never even attempted a Dweifel cone because I just saw it and I was so scared to even try it. In general, it's also just a versatile technique to use, whether it's 1v1s, retaking high ground, disengaging from a fight, or simply just using it to warm up. To be honest, I would always notice Tifu using Twifle Cones, and it seemed like it's the only high ground retake technique he actually uses for almost every situation he's in. So I kinda just thought, might as well learn it, right? But what's even the purpose of a Twifle Cone? The purpose of a Twifle Cone is to block an opponent from ramping up one or two tiles above you. If they want to stay above you, their momentum is gonna be reset. Directly quoting from Twifle himself on Reddit, he says, You can prevent yourself from getting floored and throw off your opponent very easily with no momentum loss and have a chance for a high ground retake without ever showing your body. So yeah, it just seemed like the perfect technique to learn so that you could pull it out whenever you wanted to. I'll show some examples of pro players using Dweifel Cones in their games. This clip shows Bugo using it in a 1v1 situation where he blocks his opponent from ramping above him and forces them to go up. This lets Bugo know that it's time to retake height. Here, Benji's a psycho and wants to scale this mountain to kill this dude. So in order for him to get up there, he uses two right Dweifel cones to protect his side and his top to safely get up there. From that same game, Benji goes nuts again and does one left protected Dweifel cone in order to take this man's height. This last clip is of Tifu and Cloxy shooting out height in a moving zone end game situation. As soon as he shoots out height, he double ramps up and does two right Dweifel cones in order to take height. Which, they end up winning this game from height, by the way. I didn't want to waste time learning them, so I roughly followed these steps in order to learn efficiently. Basically, I watched Dweifel's own video, which there will be a link in the description, I attempted them just by having an idea of them, then I actually broke it down step by step on how to build it properly, and from there, it was all repetition. Yeah, so I'll shut up now, and here's me actually trying to learn Dweifel cones from scratch. Be trying to learn how to do a Dweifel cone, which I've never attempted or have done a Thwifo code in my life. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos and watching a lot of pros do it, so I have an idea of how to do it, or like what it is. Kinda had an idea how to do it right there. So I'm gonna do my first attempts on just going straight up. Oh, I kinda have an idea. too bad of a run. Yeah, I think I had have the idea of it. I have to be more than halfway on this wall to place this cone. If I'm any lower, I caught myself. Ah, I think I'm running into a problem where I'm not 180 fast enough. Major crucial to not be down here when you place it um, you want to be more up the ramp i also realized that there's like a fluid motion that i like that i'm seeing going like once you jump you place this you just keep going across and you'll be able to place this ramp right here like so like that just one fluid motion instead of earlier i was going like this and then i was going back down to go back up really awkward. Ah, this is pissing me off. Ah! Alright, I'm 
I'm getting frustrated and I'm kind of just doing this aimlessly. Just gonna whew, breathe in, calm down. Just remember, you want to jump later, look high, and around. And continue looking high. And place your floors. access to my microphone. There's some struggle with learning it, but I learned a lot from practicing. Some key things I need to remember when doing it is to look high and don't place the cone too fast. Hear the pattern of the walls being placed or else I'll code myself. Making sure you stay calm and remember to focus on learning is super important. If you go into autopilot, it's probably a good time to take a break. I definitely have a lot more to improve on as you can see I continued to die even with using the technique, but this was a step in the right direction. So yeah, I learned Thwaifo cones, I think. If you liked the video, consider liking or subscribing. If you have any tips or questions, you can leave a comment. But for now, I'll see you in the next document. Peace. I just saw a fuse. Wait, how do I, where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I hear noises and they don't fucking make it. Don't pick me up. Someone ate me. Oh my god. Chick the with the ponytail. Blonde ponytail. <laughs> I, I, I equipped the beauty. Okay. Oh shit. Friends. Everybody telling me a lie. Brody, give me something for my soul See, I don't wanna think of suicide So please don't take the lucky on my door